Hey everybody, my name is James and I am training for a full marathon. So uh, I'm gonna try for the next eight months or so uh, to make a weekly vlog. So uh, my training uh, today is uh, Wednesday. Uh, my training officially starts on Monday, uh, but I'm trying to get back into it. I got a, a three mile run in today, I think. Uh, my Apple Watch was messing up on me. I'm looking forward to this. This vlog hopefully will uh, serve as kind of motivation uh, for me, uh, selfishly, uh, to keep going, uh, work on my video skills also, to make sure that I'm keeping up with my workouts and my running. Uh, I ran a half marathon uh, just over two weeks ago, uh, and you'll see the results right here. And so uh, I'm trying to I get better uh, at that uh, and also train for uh, the full in December. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. So I just got done with uh, day two uh, running. Uh, I ran a mile, I think the pace was 8.50. Uh, and then I ran another two miles. Uh, the first of those two miles was at like 10.58. And I booked it that second mile to get it uh, to 9.59 uh, per mile for that two mile run. And so what I'm about to do is I'm about to drink some water, uh, get some lunch, uh, go uh, get a shower, uh, getting ready for the NFL draft. My Jaguars should be picking Trevor Lawrence uh, tonight, but I'm also interested to see what they do at the end of the round. Ah, uh, for some reason, uh, today just feels a little bit better. You know, the sun's shining a little bit brighter. Uh, the birds are chirping just a little bit louder. Uh, last night, uh, my Jacksonville Jaguars uh, made a great decision uh, to take Trevor Lawrence uh, with the first overall pick. <laughs> So uh, today, uh, I'm going to be getting two miles in uh, and then going to do uh, some sprints. I'm going to try to record a little bit while I'm running uh, too, so that you can get an idea of what it looks like when I'm out running. So here's that. All right, just finished my two mile run. I think it was at a like 9.30 pace, which isn't super fast. and so. What I've been expecting over the past couple days is um, to not be going that fast, but I have been able to. I imagine next day or so, it's gonna get really, really hard. And so my pace is gonna slow down a lot. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, yesterday, I ran three miles. Uh, day before yesterday, I ran three miles. Um, and so this is day three of my marathon training and I'm feeling okay legs are a little sore but that's to be expected taking that much time off um so my real training starts on monday uh, my program starts on monday so what i'm really trying to do for the past couple days is just really get my legs moving um so starting next week i'll have a more strict program but i'm walking home right now i'm gonna go drink some water and then go run some sprints All right, so not quite in the sprinting shape I should be. Uh, the iPad fell at some point in there, but a lot of work to do um, as far as uh, sprints go. Um, I have about eight months uh, until, the, until the marathon. I think I'm probably in 10K shape. I could probably run the 10K right now. Um, I know I ran a half about two and a half weeks ago, almost three weeks ago, and um, I don't feel like I was in good enough shape for that. Uh, I was able to finish, but I was too tired after afterwards. So I think I'm in 10, 10K shape right now. So I'm gonna do some more sprints. Uh, one thing uh, you'll see me working on a lot 
uh, especially at the beginning here is uh, my core. Uh, that's something that I learned after my half marathon that my core is uh, something that's holding me back. So I'm gonna get on, uh, I think about a one month, two month, two month uh, routine of uh, abs. So, um, but yeah, I uh, can't wait to see what happens the rest of the week. Hey everybody, kind of a bad way to start uh, this training uh, for uh, this marathon. So the plan was uh, last time uh, that you saw me was uh, last Friday. So the plan was to get up on Saturday, do my trail run, uh, and then start my training uh, this past Monday. Fortunately, I woke up sick on Saturday um, with allergies, which meant I couldn't really breathe that well. Um, and I thought, hey, you know, just take it easy. So I, I had to take a couple more days off. Um, I ran uh, on Wednesday, two days ago, and I'm actually about to go on an eight mile run uh, so my marathon training officially starts today. Um, so yeah, it's going to be rough, but it's going to be a good time. Uh, going to get seven and a half, uh, seven and a half miles. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I got some stuff to do today. So hopefully I can get, knock it out. All right. So 2.85 miles in, I'm feeling okay. Um, so the goal is, on these long, long runs, is to uh, be able to talk. So, I think I'm doing okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of tough holding the phone up while I'm running, but hey, it's worth the try. So, I feel pretty good. Got about just under five miles left, so I'll check in another mile or two. Oh man, okay, so a little bit disappointed. Couldn't quite get seven and a half. I got four and a half. Um, you know, just a pro tip. Something that I'm learning um, is one, make sure you don't run too much in your training because what will end up happening is you burn yourself out. So make sure you're, you're doing stuff that's sustainable. Uh, make sure that you are um, upping your mileage every week at a sustainable pace. Uh, that way, you know, once you get to race day and you finish race day, you're not burned out and you don't want to take three weeks off like I did. Now, I don't want to make any excuses. You know, it's on me. Um, I had to suffer through it. Uh, I was stupid. I ran up that big hill, um, which is fine. You know, I always try to do that, but I think I overestimated it how much gas I had less than the tank so just a lesson learned um, as I do this hopefully I'll get better if you have any tips help me out one good thing about these runs is you kind of figure out areas uh, where you need to be more flexible um, where you need to work on different things like for me I'm gonna be focusing a lot um, on my arms because um, if you saw my sprints last week my arms are a mess. They're just kind of flopping all over the place. So I got to get better at that. That's something that I'm, I'm consciously working on in my shorter runs, maybe my longer runs. So um, also uh, at the end of my half marathon, my arms were killing me. So um, got to get some more uh, core strength, um, but also work on the upper body as well um, because Running, the most important part is your legs, but your abs and your arms are pretty important too. Thank you so much uh, for watching uh, today. Uh, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. You turn all the notifications on. I'll be posting once a week updates on how my training is going. If you have any tips, uh, anything like that, please feel free uh, to reach out to me. Uh, send me uh, a message, send me an email. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, James underscore Duvazon. Uh, I'll be posting things there as well. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next week.